Hi, my name is Beth Allison. I'm here from MCC to tell you a story, Michelle's MVP Award, a chemical engineering story. This story is about Michelle, who has Down syndrome, and sometimes people treat her differently, but not when she's playing hockey, and certainly not when she was awarded her MVP, Most Valuable Player. This is her story and how she got her award. It was one day after practice in the locker room, and Coach had everybody sitting, everybody waiting on pins and needles to hear who got the MVP, the Maple Leaf Play-Doh Award. All of a sudden, Coach, quiet down, kiddos, quiet down. The award goes to Tim! Everybody started applying and cheering and cheering him on. Tim came up and got his Play-Doh Award. He smiled brightly because he knew his sister made this for every kid every day after practice. She wanted to appreciate everybody who had done such a good job in practice so that they played better together. And it became something that they did every day to appreciate one another. She smiled greatly back there. And as everyone was cheering and slapping him on the back and giving him congratulations, Coach announced, Kids, one more award. Quiet down, quiet down, quiet down. It just so happens my best friend called me, and he has announced that he's got a job with the Maple Leaf Pro Hockey Team. And they all started cheering. Does that mean we get to go to a game? And he smiled, of course. However, just one problem. We need $300. Jason, in the back, what? Are you crazy? I don't have that kind of money. Now, is that how we play hockey? We're going to give up before trying? All the kids, no. Suddenly, Miguel yells out, what about a bake sale? My mom can bake. And... John saying, no, sorry, baseball team did that one last month. Julia yelled out, what about Art? Art, I can draw. No, Art Club did that one just a few weeks ago. Tim stood up and held up the maple leaf and said, what about Play-Doh? What if we make these and people then can buy the dough? Wow. Julia once again, well, we can make different animals or shapes or anything. Yeah! And all the kids clapped. Coach nodded. I like this Play-Doh plan. As they were leaving the locker room that night, Tim and Michelle walking together, all of a sudden, Jason's hand came on Tim's shoulder and pulled him back. She could hear loud and clearly exactly what Jason said. You better make sure Michelle gets that right or none of us, none of us are going to that game. Well, as they got into the station wagon, Tim was beaming. He told Uncle Adam all about the Play-Doh plan. And when they got home, immediately, Uncle Adam and Shell sat down at the kitchen table. He goes, okay, I'm a chemical engineer, and I know a little bit about this stuff, Michelle. And I was wondering, before we get started with your Play-Doh plan, do you already have a plan? She's like, well, yeah, of course. How do you think I make Play-Doh? He goes, well, how did you come up with that? And she said, well... I did it with my dad. We researched on the internet and we found three different recipes to make Play-Doh. And we put them all together. Because the first time we made it, honestly, it didn't come out so good. We had two solids in one liquid and it came out all mushy. And he's like, hmm, so what did you do? Well, I had to figure out what was going on. So I knew the two solids wouldn't make it mushy, but perhaps it was the water, the liquid, maybe we used too much or... Maybe even the order was wrong. So we tried different things out. And we kept going back to the recipe and modifying it. And with that, she pulled it out of the cabinet and showed her uncle. He chuckled. He goes, wow, you modified it a lot. There's a lot of crossouts." So do you think you can imagine a way that somebody else could take your recipe and follow it? And she thought and she said, yeah, what if we add pictures? Maybe if we had pictures... Then they'll know what each step represents. He said, super. She drew, he wrote. She drew, he wrote. She drew, he wrote. Finally, she yells, hooray, we have it done. He's like, well, not quite. Because with, with this, we need to test it. We need to see if somebody can create it. Hey, Tim. And Tim came into the kitchen. And he said, yeah? He goes, we want you to create the dough. He goes, are you crazy? I can't make dough. Michelle said, yes, you can. Here's the new plan. So he sat down. He added all the ingredients, mixed it up, and pulled it up and said, voila. Well, 
maybe not voila. It was all goopy and gooey. And he said, oh, I told you I can't do this. She chuckled. Her uncle smirked. And they said, well, you know what we need to do now? We need to improve the plan. And Tim said, improve? Well, how are you going to do that? And Michelle says, I know. I think it was the order, the sequence that you put the ingredients together. Tim said, oh. So they sequenced and they improved the plan. Tim again made the dough, and this time, voila, a beautiful maple leaf. The next day, when they got to the locker room, they handed out each of the bags to every player. And every player sat down, and they started making the dough. Well, every player except for one, Jason. Jason sat down cross-armed. He didn't even look at the plan. He didn't even turn it over. Coach walked over. Jason, what's the problem here, he said. Jason looked up. I'm not doing this. I don't make Play-Doh. Michelle, get over here. Michelle came over, and she saw Jason. Not sure if she wanted to help him, but she sat down, and she said, Jason, what's wrong? He goes, I don't make Play-Doh. She said, sure you can. It's easy. She flipped over the plan. As soon as she flipped it over, he saw pictures. He goes, pictures? I didn't know you had pictures. She's like, well, yeah. She goes, I don't always like reading. Sometimes pictures help. He goes, me too. I'm not a good reader. Together, they made their first Play-Doh sculpture. And as a team, they made sculpture after sculpture. Within a month, $300 later, they were sitting in the bleachers at the big game, cheering on their favorite players. And at the end, the whole team stood up over the announcements. Michelle, can we have you to the center of the rink? Her coach standing next to her best friend. And the Maple Leaf Award goes to Michelle. Everybody applauded.